Hi everyone, Joanne here with the work in progress. Welcome to my Christmas in July sale and to my alfalfa sprout, the top of my head. <laughs> my gosh. Uh, my friend Rhonda is here while we're waiting for some folks to come on. My friend Rhonda is here again to help me keep track of those folks that might be interested in purchasing some things. So we're going to wait. I might see five people on. Yep, there's six. Hey, Tina, how are you? Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Who else do we have on today? Hey, Laura, Mama J, hi. Oh, Mama says hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's going fast now. Carolina Princess. Okay, you're new to me, Carolina Princess. I'm, I'm glad you joined us. Thank you. Hey, Shelly. Teresa. Lynn, hi. Sandra, Carol, Susan. Oh my goodness. Thank you all for joining us. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead. I'll just get started um, with, yes, happy 4th of July. I hope everyone has their flags flying. Um, I know mine is out on the front porch flying, flying high for the day. So um, for those of you that have not been to a live sale before, uh, what I will do is I have, uh, let me see, I have 51 items to share with you today. I am going to do my best to keep this to about an hour so it just doesn't, you know, take up too much of your afternoon. Um, I'll tell you a bit about the piece, I'll tell you the price, and then I'll give you the number for the item. If it's something that you might be interested in purchasing, go ahead and type in the item number. Make sure you're on live chat because um, that does help with the speed. And the first person that my friend Rhonda sees on her end that types in the number will be the, the person that gets it. Now you might see things a little bit differently on your end. Um, it has to do with the device that you're on, the speed of your internet, a whole bunch of other little technical things that I don't understand. Uh, but the first person that Rhonda sees will be the person that does get the item. And what you will do after the sale is over, if you would please email me at uh, the email address that will be in the description box for the video, which is jmozgo at yahoo.com. Uh, let me know your full mailing address, your full name, the item that you are purchasing, and your PayPal email address. I will then issue you an invoice and send that through PayPal. Once that has been paid, I will go ahead and ship out your item. Remember too that shipping is going to vary depending on how far you are from me here in North Carolina and the size of the package that's going out. So I think that covers just about everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I have to share with you is this uh, crocheted afghan it is a beautiful absolutely beautiful piece let me show it to you a little bit closer so you can see the edging on it it has kind of this uh, double tiered edge on it here with the red and the green and you might notice a little bit of variation in the color so it's a cream color but then a little bit darker cream as well I could not find any stains on it. Um, it is in perfect condition. It measures approximately 53 by 54 inches. And I'm asking $15 for this crocheted afghan. And this is number one. Where did the tag go? There it is. Okay. So we've got, whoa, sorry about that, guys. $15 for the crocheted afghan number one. Did someone just have a question? I thought I saw something, please. Uh, maybe not. If somebody had a question, put it through again. I thought I saw very quickly someone ask a question. No, I don't see any questions. Uh, let me see. The second thing we have, oh, these are super, super cute. It's a set of four. They are placemats. So this is what they look like. Okay, so you have the one, I think they're handmade. The one side here. And then there is the second side. And then you fold them up in a particular manner so that they end up looking like Christmas trees. I think they're so, so pretty and very clever. So that's the front of when they're all um, folded up. That's the back. 
It is, I said, a set of four of them. And I am asking $8 for this set of, my kitty is on the chair right in front of me. I'm, uh, I'm asking $8 for those and they are number nine. So $8, number nine for the set of the four Christmas tree napkins. Okay, thanks. Uh, next we have is a fabric. Now this might be cotton, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a beautiful, beautiful tree skirt. So I'm saying it's a cotton and lace tree skirt. And there is the edging on it. Modernly vintage got your napkins. Oh, thank you, modernly vintage. You got the napkins, I appreciate that. Oh, got a little fuzzy on the back of this. So again, there it is. It ties around your tree trunk there. And let me see that I have the dimensions on this. Okay, so uh, this is approximately 45 inches round and the hole in the center here is about six inches round. So this is going to be $12, this Christmas tree skirt. It's, it's kind of like has a Victorian look to me, something very fancy. And that is going to be $12, number 16, for the cotton and lace Christmas tree skirt. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, next we have a tea towel. I have two tea towels coming up. Kathy Bay. Oh, thank you, Kathy. How are you doing? Two tea towels. This is the first. And this is traditional Christmas recipes. So I'll hold it up and go through the whole thing so that you can see it. Ooh, tippy toes. <laughs> there we go. This measures 19 by 30. It is cotton and was made in Britain. Somewhere it says on there that it was made in Britain. Kathy loves your makeup today. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> it's by this Vista, I think that says there. Yeah, and here we go. There is the tag that says made in Britain, 100% cotton. There, it's in perfect condition. There are no stains on this whatsoever. It's in beautiful condition. And this is going to be number seven, and I am asking, hold on, of course this got, come on now. There we go. Number seven, $8 for the Christmas recipe tea towel. And Dallas. All right, thank you, Ann. That's pretty, you're gonna like that, I think. There we go. Okay, our second tea towel. Get rid of the tag here. Oh, I'm going out of frame. Sorry about that. Okay, this one is a 12 days of Christmas. And I will do the same. Now this one, let me show you before I forget. This one actually has an area on the back of it. See where you can put it on a dowel rod. They're already on there for you. So here's the 12 days of Christmas tea towel. go here we go and this is approximately 20 by 30 it is linen made in Ireland and this tea towel is number 10 and he is going to be eight dollars as well oh I mixed that up I was supposed to give you the price first and then the number but you got it <laughs> That's number 10, uh, that would yes. be Tina B. Okay, Tina B, thank you. Okay, now this is, a, this is a mixture. Most of the things that I have are vintage, but this is a more contemporary piece. Now this is a table runner from Target. It's much fancier than Target if you don't know that. So this is a table runner. I think this could kind of go from sort of fall Thanksgiving into Christmas because of the colors. So let me show it to you there. 
This is still in the package, although the package is a little bit beat up. It is 14 by 72 inches, 100% cotton. Uh, it looks like it was made in India. There's the picture right there to show you what it looks like on the table. So again, this is a new piece uh, from Target. And this is going to be number 21. And I'm asking $10 for that tablecloth that'll take you from fall into Christmas time. Thank you. Uh, what do we have next here? Okay, now these I have two of these. So what we'll do if there do have if there are two people that are interested in these, the first two folks that type in the number for the item will be the two folks that will get them. So as I said, I have two of these, and it is a stocking for Jesus. So it's this little tiny stocking. It comes in the uh, the box. So this would actually be a really great Christ, uh, Christmas present. Let me read what it says to you. Um, Each Christmas we hang our so stockings with care and fill them with gifts for loved ones to share. But do we forget that the first Christmas night God gave us his son who gave us his life? A sacrifice so great, how can we repay? We can say thank you, Jesus, on his birthday. Hang a stocking for Jesus and fill it with love. Do good deeds for others to thank God above. I think that's really sweet. The year on these are from 2013. So I'm asking $6. And first two folks that type in the number two will be the two folks that will get this stocking for, for Jesus in the packaging. got a couple of Hallmark ornaments. Carolyn and Teresa. Oh, thank you, Carolyn and Teresa. Appreciate it. Those will be fun little gifts for somebody, especially kids. Those would be a great gift for, for little ones, I think. So I have a couple of uh, Hallmark keepsake ornaments. This one, I remember Barbie looking like this. <laughs> this is a Barbie. And let's see, this is called Silken Flame. It is in the box, a little bit of damage right there. Uh, originally, this was $15.99. Let me pull her out of the box so you can see her close up. Can I stop for a second? Oh, sure. I apologize to them because I was not in live chat. So I wasn't always choosing the right person. First. Oh, so it's okay. my fault. So we can go back and correct it if they want. Okay. So <clears throat> it, uh, first off, Rhonda apologizes. Uh, she says that she wasn't in the live chat, so there may be some discrepancies in the winners here. Uh, well, winners, the, the folks that were the first ones to put the numbers down. So, um, um, let's see. Okay, so nine was correct. Okay. She's just reviewing right now, so just give us a quick second. Um, Denise Boss shows as the first one for number 16, the tree skirt. Okay. So we have to make a correction, and I do apologize. Things happen. I mean, it, it just has to happen, so I hope you can understand. Um, so Denise is going to be getting number 16, which was the cotton and lace tree skirt. So that's one correction. I still have Ann Dallas's number 7. Okay, Ann, we still have you for the Christmas recipe tea towel. And Tina, you have the 12 Days of Christmas tea towel. And then Carolyn and Teresa have number two. So okay, yeah. and Carolyn and Teresa, you have the two uh, stocking for Jesus. Yeah, I apologize. Jesus. It happens. So let me show you Barbie because she's really cute. So there she is. And it's hard to tell from this, but um, her hat and her red dress are almost flocked. You can feel them, as is her little purse here. So there's, there she is from the back. So that is the Barbie uh, keepsake ornament, and she is going to be $6 number 15. $6 number 15. Sheila Petman. Okay, great, Sheila, thank you. Let me wrap her back up for you real quick. Whoops. I think 
I have two more keepsake ornaments coming up. Okay, we put that one there, right? Yeah. All righty. Next is this little Hallmark keepsake ornament called Fashion Afoot. It's this little bitty little mouse inside of that little shoe. Uh, this also retailed for $14.95. You take him out so you can get a closer look at him. Oh, he's a little on the heavy side. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, he's a little box. I forgot about that. So look how cute he is. This little face there. And then he pops open. Where does he come on now? There he goes. He pops open. I don't know what you would put in there. It's awful tiny. But there he come on. There we are. So there's that little mouse. And he has a date on him, I just see now, on his little ribbon for 2000 But you can always switch out the ribbon on him. So he is also going to be $6, and he is number 20. So $6 for number 20, the little mouse. And the last Hallmark ornament that we have is Horton hatches the egg. There he is. He's in his box. Uh, see, he again was originally $14.95. And let me take him out for you. Oh, come on. He's cute. So here he is, and he looks like he will clip onto a branch for you. And then... The little teeny Horton, come on, is right here. And there should be a little, oh no, look, oh, I see what it does. So there is a little string that's missing, but I can add a little string in for you. So what you do is you clip him on your branch and then you hang him off of a branch just a little bit above him so that they will look like that. So he is missing the string, which I just realized, but that's not a problem. I have some white um, string that I can put on that for you. So you might guess this one is $6, and this is number 11. Put him back in here. Actually, I'll put him away in just a minute. I'll put him to the side there. That's okay. I'll get him later. Uh, let me see. What do we have next? Okay, next we have a pair of False Craft Salt and Pepper Shakers. Sheila Pettman. Oh, thank you, Sheila. You got, she got the Horton? Um, Dr. Seuss, yeah. The Dr. Seuss. Great, thank you. So we have, the, these are really, really pretty. So I don't know if it's a man and a woman, because he has the little top hat on here. And that one has a smaller hat on. Salt and pepper shakers. Let me show you this one close up so you can see the pattern on it. And this does have a name. It's called Winterberry. And they're approximately four inches tall. And there you can see the false craft on the bottom there. So this is the set of two. And they are going to be $10, number three. $10, number three for this set of Winterberry false craft salt and pepper shakers. California Thrifter, thank you. Maria, thank you. Put these right here. Right? Okay. Um, okay, next we have a piece of spode. This is a little, I'm going to do whatever you want with this. Make it a little trinket dish, a little tidbit dish. This is from spode with the Christmas tree on it. It is approximately, let's see, six inches across here, and then six and a quarter inches up and down. Let me take the tag off and I'll show you the back of it. So there is the back. Now there is, where did it go? There is a rough spot. There it is, right there. There's a rough spot. I don't even know if it's gonna show up. Right there is a little rough spot on the back of it doesn't affect its use and doesn't affect its appearance because it is on the back. So this little uh, plate I'm asking $8 for, and this is number 18. So $8 for the little 
spoon plate. And Alice. Okay, and thank you. Thanks. Okay, so this is going to be for specific folks or would be a great gift for specific folks. And you'll see why I say that. Because it is an S monogrammed uh, tumbler, coffee uh, travel tumbler. The top is in perfect condition, and this is from Lennox. So, tell them everything is Christmas. Oh, yes, today. Laura, today is everything. Today is a Christmas in July sale, so everything that you're going to see is Christmas related. Um, beautiful design on this. Oh, you can see that. Now, the design, it might be a transfer wear because you can kind of feel it with your finger, um, and it doesn't say whether this is dishwasher safe. So I personally would not put this in the dishwasher. I would hand wash this to be on the safe side because I would hate to see that monogram come off. Um, I'm asking $8 for this, and this is number six. $8, number six, for the Lennox monogrammed travel mug. Lisa Carl. Okay, Lisa, thank you. Um, next, I have, this is one singular box. They are candles for Swedish angel chimes and Christmas tree. So even if you don't use these, the graphics on this box, is, they're just, it's just amazing, I think. Let me take the tag off so I can show you the other side gently. There we go. So there is the other side, and they have never been used. So, what are there? 12 of them in there, never been used. Swedish angel chimes and Christmas tree. So, this is going to be uh, $4, number 22. So, $4, number 22 for the box of unused uh, angel chimes candles. Lisa Oh, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Now this is another one. I have three of these, so it'll be similar to my last one that had uh, multiples. I'll show you the item. Know that there are going to be three of them, so the first three people that we see on our end that want these will, will receive them. And they're going to come in a, a bag here. It's a lot of four, is that four? Let me see. Four sewing themed Christmas ornaments. They're all vintage. I believe they're all made in Taiwan. So you'll get, yep, they are. Christmas decorations, you'll get this little pair of scissors. Do they work? No, they don't work. I thought maybe they did open and close, but they do not. Let's see, there we go. Now you can see it better on my sleeve. So that will be included. This little spool with, it's not thread that's wound around. It's more like a piece of, like a, a knitting yarn. And a little iron made in Taiwan. And then finally, a little measuring stick. So as I said, there are three of these that are available. There are four ornaments in the lot. I'm asking $4 for them and they are number four. $4, number four. And as I said, I do have four of these, or three of them, three of them. So the first three folks that want them will be able to get them. Penny, Crystal, and Nancy. All right, Penny, Crystal, and Nancy, thank you so much. Those are fun if, you know, if you're a seamstress yourself or if you know someone that is, it's a great little gift. Um, next up... Next up, we have this. Um, it's a vintage from 1962. This holly plate. Let me hold it back so you can see the whole thing first. And then there we are up front. So you can see the crazing in there. I mean, this is from 1962, so it has some age on it. Almost as much as me. <laughs> now, there are a couple of minor chips in this. Let me show them to you. Let me show you that first. And then I'll show you the chips. So this was hand done by Nancy. It is a pretty glaze. Yeah, they did a really nice job on them. Uh, where are those chips so I can show you? 
There is a little teeny tiny one right there. Little teeny tiny one right there. You age much better. I what? You oh. age much better from Marvin. The makeup helps. <laughs> this poor baby has no makeup on it. I do. Thank you very much. I think those are the only chips. I'm not sure if I showed that one right there. So there might be a total of three of them. But so we have this. It's got three little individual compartments because these areas here are raised. So I'm asking $10 for this little plate, and it is number 17. So $10 for number 17. Oh, hey, Stephanie, how are you? I'm glad you could join. Kathy Beck. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I see those out frequently, the plates that resemble those, and they're almost always, the chips in them are really, really bad. So I was happy to find that one with the little what chips that it did have, because those, Kathy, you'll be able to touch those up very, very easily. Oh, this, I think this is fun. This is not vintage, but this is super fun. So who is a fan of A Christmas Story? Who remember? I mean, everybody remembers that movie, don't you? With the lamp. And what did he say? Ah, fragile. It must be Italian, he says. So this is in perfect condition, has the top on it, yellow top on it. Uh, let me see. Really, it's just from Turner Entertainment. There's no year on it on the bottom there. Perfect condition, you know, the top, no chips or anything. Paint, there's no paint loss on it. Oh, get on there. So this, again, would be a perfect gift for somebody that you know loves that movie. And this is going to be $10, number five. $10, number five. Linda Martin. Oh, thank you, Linda. Uh, the next is a St. Nicholas Square mug. It is right here, and you can see it kind of has a little wrap around it with the, in a sort of a glittery gold. And it buttons here so that you can take this off to wash the mug. That's what I did. Uh, it says Be Merry on it. And it's about five inches tall, so it's a good size mug. I don't know how many ounces it holds. St. Nicholas Square, it's called Shine Bright. This is not vintage, because you can see that it was made in China, but perfect condition. Again, this would be a great gift with uh, maybe some flavored coffees in it or something for somebody that you know loves Christmas and coffee. And this one I'm asking $8 for number 12. Is it plain white, Tina asked? Oh, yes, it is, Tina. Let me take off the little sweater. There go. Yep, underneath it's just a plain white mug. So that's what gives it its decoration, is the little wrap that it has around it. So again, let me see, $8 for number 12. Kathy Beck. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Stick that in there so I don't use it. Um, okay, this little girl, if some of you have been watching me, might remember what I hauled her. I think she's so, so sweet. And it's this little angel. Oh, there we go. So there she is, kind of close up. And I am guessing that this is burlap material here. And then you twine here. Her hair, I believe, is twine as well. Her body is made out of a thick cardboard. Uh, she is older. She is made in Taiwan, Republic of China. I just think she is so, so sweet. She has such a, a kind of a natural look to her, I think. Um, let's see, she is um, about seven inches tall, so that gives you an idea of how tall she is. And she is going to be $9 and number 23. Nine dollars, number twenty-three, for the little burlap, twine, and cardboard vintage angel. Joanne Babar. Okay, thank you, Joanne. You're gonna like her. I think she's really pretty. So I want to take these out and show them to you individually. This is a lot of eleven vintage Roush. Uh, 
tree ornaments. Couldn't get that out. They are all glass. I do not know if you are going to be able, let me see if I can find it on one that you might be able to make out the name here. You might be able to make it out on that one. Oh, thank you, Mary. <laughs> I try. I know. I know. When I watch others, I like to. I like to know what the dimension of something is before I purchase it. So that's why. That's why I do it. I. So I'm. I'm glad that you find that helpful. If you can see the Roush there. So like I said, there are there are eleven of them here. So we have the star. I'll go through them kind of quickly. And a little teardrop. And another little teardrop. This one is clear. Got a long one here. And there's another little star, but this one you can see through. We have one with some glitter on it. Let me see if there's any couple of, no, it doesn't look like the glitter came off. Just look like a couple of spots right here. Oh, come on now. There we go. There you go. See those couple of little kind of darker spots there, but it doesn't appear that the glitter is off. So we have that one, and then another kind of teardrop white, and another green star, a silver, another green, um, crystal, yes, what you would do, and one larger silver there. What you would do is uh, whatever number that you have uh, purchased, you would send an email after the video uh, to jmozgo, M-O-Z-G-O at yahoo.com and let me know your full name, your full mailing address, and I need your PayPal email. And um, if you remember the number that, of the item that you purchased, that would be great, but if you don't, just tell me what it is that you did purchase. And then I will send you an email uh, via PayPal. Once that um, invoice has been paid, I will go ahead and ship your items out to you. So, you know, the quicker you can get that information to me, the quicker I can get your goodies out to you so you can have your own little Christmas in July as well. So um, it was all of those 11 vintage Roush ornaments. Um, I'm looking there. No two are the same. Some have similar shapes but different colors and such. And I'm asking $10 for all 11 of them, and they are number 18. Oh, you're welcome, Crystal. So, oh, again, $10, number 18 for the 11 vintage Roush ornaments. Kathy Dick. Oh, thank you, Kathy. All glass. Here we are. Thank you. Let's see, what do we have next? Oh, okay, I don't even remember where I picked this up, but I think this would be great. Just, you know, some people decorate their cabinets and such or hutches for Christmas and the different seasons. And I thought this would be a really cool, just a decoration. It's older. I don't know how old it is. There's no date on it. Um, although it was made from Berwick Industries in Berwick, PA in the United States. So you can tell this is, you know, kind of older advertising and such. Oh, what's up there? Uh, yarn 100% acrylic fiber. So it's this cute little pom-pom and the yarn on the card that it came on. And I'm asking $4 for this, and this is number eight. So that's what the back of it looks like. $4, number eight. Great just for display at Christmas time, and you could use it too. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. Let me take this out of here. I think they call this, is this a sugar, a sugar candle? You can see, I don't know if the light is going to, oh, there we go. See the little sparkles in it? So the whole thing is covered in that kind of sparkle, but it's, it's not the glitter that we have nowadays. And I believe those are little chickadees on there. I remember these candles from when I was a kid. Now I will, it is so pretty. Now I will tell you that it has been used. It's been burned down. So you can see down in there. I'm not sure how to get that out. I'll be quite honest with you. 
Um, maybe uh, just in some warm water uh, that might help to burn that out. Or personally, I would leave it alone. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, now you worked before. You're not working now. There we go. Let me show you what it looks like with a candle in it. So I have, can, can you tell? Sort of, kind of, hold on. Oh, no, you can't tell. It's just not dark enough. But I did see, I put a little candle inside of it. And it does, you can see it. It's just in this light. I'm sorry, you can't. As I kind of wanted to show you what it would look like when it was lit up. So we have this with the little chickadees on the outside. And I was asking $8 for this. And this is number 13. Yeah, the little tea light. That'll exactly, the little tea light will work perfectly in there. So again, $8, number 13. With the little chickadees. Tina B. Ah, oh, thank you, Tina B. Here we go. You know what? I'll even throw in the candle. I mean, if you want it, Tina, let me know if you want me to throw in this candle um, when I send it to you or not. It's kind of like a wax feel on the outside of it, and it does work. <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, this guy. I love this guy. I love him. He's so adorable. She said yes, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. I will. Look at him. This is a vintage Santa if I have ever seen one. Look at him. He's so sweet. He's kind of got like a kind of a rubbery nose. Look at his nose and those chubby cheeks on him. He's so adorable. Now, I will tell you, his little pom-pom needs a little bit of TLC up here. Um, but that could be easily fixed. Uh, or you could just replace it if you like. You take his sticker off so you can get the full effect. There he is, all up front, his little black belt. And there he is around the back. And he has a tag on him. He is from 1982, Rennick Corporation. Uh, let's see, cotton fiber and polystyrene assembled in Haiti. So there's his little tag there. So he definitely has some age on him. I just adore his little face. I think he is so, so cute. Don't know what he is filled with. And he's kind of, he's firm. He's not, real, he's not a cushy Santa. And I'm asking $14 for Santa. And he is going to be number 14. So $14 for the vintage stuffed Santa. There we go. Lynn Hampton. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Um, next, we have a couple of ornaments. And this is going to be for both ornaments. These are made, not by me, <laughs> these are made from twigs. So if you have a rustic Christmas going on, oh, that was a weird um, change in color there. Apologize for that. So this is kind of a star. Here's the back of it. Oh, Lynn, yeah, you're going to love him. He's so cute. <laughs> there is the front. And then we have this little house. Did you say something about hutches at some point? Hutch? Hutches? Hutches, what kind of? Because Chris is asking, please tell me what you're referring to when you say hutches. Oh, a hutch. Like a, um, like a cabinet or a, um, uh, you know, just a little a display area with shelving and such in it. That's what I call it. I have a little hutch in my family room. And with the different seasons and holidays and stuff, I'll change out the decoration that's in the, in, in the hutch. And mine is not as tall as I am, maybe four feet tall or something, but about three feet wide. And the shelving, I'll just take the decorations that are in it. I'll take them down. I'll put up some Christmas decorations. Just a little area that I can, you know, I can decorate for the different seasons. So that's what I meant by a, by a hutch. So here's our other little twig ornament, which is a little house, kind of a little log cabin, right? Super cute. He is. There's the bottom of him. So you would be getting both of these twig ornaments, as I'm calling them. And I'm asking $6 for the pair number 19. So $6. Oh, Lori, hey, how are you? I'm so glad you showed up. Thank you. Joanne got mine. Joanne, thank you so much. 
Oh, get in there. And here we are. Thanks, Rhonda. All right. A couple of more ornaments. Um, actually, this is a lot of six. They are all wooden ornaments. I'll show them to you very quickly. How long have we been on? 40 minutes. Oh, i got to stop yapping. <sighs> so we have this little guy here. So they all have the same kind of feel to them. We have that one. This one. That one. And they're small. These I didn't measure. I'm sorry. These I did not measure. What is that? German. Oh, oh, a shrunk. Yes. I saw a hutch one time when I was out um, thrifting, and that's what they called it, what was a shrunk, and I had no idea what they were talking about. We got that little one there. That little guy there. And one more. That little one there. So you will get this entire lot of six wooden ornaments. And I am asking $12 for the six of them, number 24. $12 for all six ornaments, number 24. Uh, next, we have something from Starbucks. So we know that's not vintage. But it is this very sparkly tumbler. So you can use that with your iced tea or your water. Um, the it's a screw on lid and the straw, oh my gosh, the straw comes with, it is 16 ounces, I do not see a date on it, but it is from Starbucks there, so this you could use actually for Christmas or for um, St. Patrick's Day, and this is going to be $10, number 39. So $10, number 39 for the sparkly Starbucks travel tumbler with the straw. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> and I have the pendant on, too, that matches it today. That was my church uh, yard sale score because they turned out to be sterling silver. I'm just going to show you one of these, but it's going to be a set of two. And it's, they're from Pacific Rim. It's a set of two coffee or tea mugs or hot chocolate mugs. In the wintertime, they are clean inside and out. Here is, let's see, they are hand-painted, exclusive Pacific Rim. They are microwave and dishwasher safe, made in China. As I said, these are not older. Um, they are approximately four and a half inches tall. And for the set of two, I'm asking $12, number 28. Ducky Jones would like to know if you had any brooches. brooches oh, brooches? Today. I don't have any jewelry. No, no jewelry today. Um, so $12, again, for number 28 for the set of two Pacific Rim mugs. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. I may have to change the angle of this camera for my next sale. Oh, my next sale. I'm going to tell you while I'm thinking about it. I have decided I'm going to start doing these uh, live sales. Some may be pre-recorded, but um, these sales uh, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time starting on July the 13th. So I just want to kind of give you a heads up on, on um, that. So I'm really excited about them, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to join me for some of them. Uh, next. Oh, this is pretty. This is from Yankee Candle. I didn't even know they made stuff like this. It is a table runner. A white table runner. The tassels on the end. We have faith on that side. Christmas on that side. It is new with the tag. Originally $59. It's craziness. There is one small spot on this. Now I have to try and find it. It is a very faint little spot. Uh, I know it's here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Actually, now that I'm seeing, it might be a couple more than just the one. Um, see, right here, 
right right there and there see those little spots and right up there but brand new with the tag on this measures 30 by 88 so it's a nice long table runner and I am asking $15 for this and this is going to be number 41 so $15 for the new with tag Yankee Candle table runner. Kathy Beck. Oh, thank you, Kathy. You must have a big table. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's run that. Um, another Starbucks. Uh, this is this is pretty cool. Let me show you first. It's a cup and saucer set. Okay, so there's the cup and the saucer. So less, you, less than ten dollars worth to know if you have any silver ornaments. Silver ornaments? No, Christine, I don't. I don't have any silver ornaments. I'm sorry. I do have a few more coming up, but nothing is silver. So if you see the little, the little um, stocking inside. And then there's a stocking on the saucer and a stocking on the mug. That is depressed and that is raised, so that kind of just fits right in there like that. It's really cool. There are no chips, no paint loss. It's in perfect condition. Uh, let me see. It's 12 ounces from 2006, and I am asking $15 for the set number 49. $15 for the set number 49. This, again, would be another great uh, gift for some a Starbucks lover with some Starbucks coffee inside of it. Kathy's going to put this on the table at church. Oh, really? Oh, how nice, Kathy. Oh, they'll like that. <laughs> okay, one more piece of the, these, the vintage hand-painted uh, piece, and this is a little bell here. No, I take that back. This is not... Is this hand painted? No, this is not hand painted. This is a Lefton piece. Although it may have been hand painted by one of the Lefton artists. And you can kind of barely make out the Lefton sticker there. So there it is with the little holly berry on the top. Um, now this one, I have in my notes that there's one. Yeah, there we are. There's one chip on that right there, which would be easily camouflaged. My apologies, I did not take measurements on that, but if that can help at all, there's my hand, and it goes down past my wrist. So it's got to be at least six inches. Yeah, probably yeah. closer to eight. Okay, yeah, between six and eight, we're going to say on that one. Um, I'm asking $8 for this little tray dish, and that's number 25. So $8 for number 25, the Lefton Bell dish. Carolyn. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. Okay, the next item, I have two. So the first two folks that might be interested in these will get them. Um, and it's a candle jewelry put out by Pier One. And it's a set of these six. So what you do, they have little um, posts on the back of them. And you put them into your candles. So it kind of dresses up your candles. So this has the two snowmen, the two trees, and the two bells. And like I said, these are originally from Pier 1. Uh, they originally cost $5. I'm asking $3 for them. Remember, I have two, so the first two people that say they want them will get them. And this is going to be number 31. The B is just for A and B, first two people. So again, $3, number 31 for the candle jewelry. Barb J.M. and Mama J. Okay, Barb J.M. and Mama J. Thank you both. We do have some more candle jewelry. This is from Pier 1. Now I only have one of these. Um, these, it's the same, there's a set of six. These are all bells. So all bells on this. And you can guess the price, it's, six, it's $3. And this is going to be number 42. So $3, number 42 for the six bell candle jewelry pieces. Carolyn. 
Okay, Carolyn, thank you. And the last candle jewelry that I have is going to be all Christmas trees. So you'll get the set of six of these. Again, these are from Pier 1. And these are also going to be $3. And this is going to be number 26. So $3, number 26, the set of six Pier 1 candle jewelry pieces. Carolyn again. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. You have some pretty candles come this Christmas. Okay, I have several ornaments to share with you. These are vintage um, Hershey ornaments. So if there are any Hershey folks out there, chocolate lovers, just vintage uh, ornament lovers, the first one is this trolley and it has some little holly on the top here and these were designed by a uh, Curtis Adler made in Taiwan. I don't know if this one has the date on them. Some of them have dates, some of them do not. This one does not, but you can see the tag on the bottom there. Oh, is Pier 1 going out of business? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. So we have this little trolley car. Uh, and this little guy is going to be $8, number 48. So the vintage Hershey trolley car ornament, $8, number 48. And we have another. Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Let me take the tag, the sticker off. I'm sorry. Come on. They did fall for bankruptcy, pure, pure, pure one. Oh, they did. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, this is going to be a real sticky. Let me do this side then. That way you can't see the sticker. I'll just show you this side. So this one, again, is a vintage Hershey uh, little ornament. He's on a tricycle here. And you can see he's got his chocolate in his basket there. This is also by Kurt at Curtis Adler. Uh, let me see if this one has... This one does have a date on it of 1989. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that sticker on there or not. And he is $8.00. And he is number 27, but it's hard to see because it's wrapped around his wheel. But he's $8, number 27. Yes. Crystal D. Thank you, Crystal. Uh, let me see. I have a couple more of those. This little guy is another vintage Hershey ornament. And this, this is a little skater. The little glasses on and he's holding his Hershey's kiss here and let me see if he has this one does not have a date on it um, these were all actually made in Taiwan I did not say that earlier and let's see here Curtis Adler yep Hershey Corporation that's just what it says on the tag but there is no date on this guy so he's going to be six dollars and he will be number 40 so $6, number 40, for the little vintage Hershey's skater ornament. Uh, next we have hmm, two more. We have two more of the Hershey ornaments. And let me see. Here's this little guy. He's in his sleigh, his Hershey's sleigh. Again, with his chocolate in the front there with him. And his chocolate bar and his little kiss. Let's see, does he have it? He's made in Taiwan um, in 1990 is his date. And he is going to be $6, number 29. $6, number 29 for the vintage, whoops, little Hershey guy in the sleigh. And this is the last one of the, the vintage Hershey ornaments. Barb wants some chocolate now. I'm sorry. <laughs> And this is a little, just one more, hold on, Barb. One more little skier here. Somebody wants to know if this is Santa. You know, I don't know if they're Santas or not. I kind of wonder if they're just little bakers. Because, I mean, he doesn't have a little, little red cap on him. He has his beard and all and his little glasses. But he doesn't have a red Santa cap on. So I'm guessing they're bakers. Um, Cheryl got that. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. So the last one that we have is this little skier. 
and he has his chocolate in his kind of backpack there and he's got a scarf on him his poles are intact and made in Taiwan I do not believe he has a, a date on him he does not uh, but we have him here he's going to be six dollars and he's number 30 so six dollars number 30 for the Hershey skier Okay, this is just a little cute little something for tea drinkers because I had a lot of stuff for the coffee drinkers. And it's this little Santa tea strainer. So cute. So Santa would sit outside of your teacup and your tea would go in there. But he's just adorable for Christmas time. And I'm asking $5 for that little guy, number 32. $5, number 32. Joanne. Oh, Joanne, thank you. Okay, we've got a couple more ornaments from Kurt Adler, but, oh, this is, oh yeah, Curtis, is it Kurt Adler? Kurt Adler. If I said Curtis before, I'm sorry, I was wrong. It's Kurt Adler. So this is a set of a little boy and a little girl here. I'll show you her first. So we've got this one here. And do I have a date on these? I don't have a date on these, but you can tell just from looking at these guys that they are older. Um, there's a tag on the bottom, um, which is not dated. And then here we have her little boyfriend here with his little scarf on. And there he is in the back holding his lantern. So for the set of these two, I am asking $8, number 46, for these two little vintage boy and girl ornaments. Eight dollars, number 46. Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl? Thank you, Cheryl. Now I have three of these that I'm going to show. So, like before, the first three folks that are, might be interested in these um, that we see will be the ones that, that get these. And they are from Midwest Importers, um, 1984. I think that says. Yep, 1985, made in Taiwan. Now, I believe these are ornaments. You could use them for candles because that definitely can, but you can see the little string there. And there's the sticker back there. So, as I said, I do have three of these. I'm asking $5 for them, each one of them, and they're number 33. So, these are $5 a piece number 33 for the vintage little made in Taiwan ornaments. Okay, we're getting down there, folks. Hang in there. Yep, I, I'm sorry? Penny. Oh, Penny, thank you, Penny. Yep, I have three more things to show you. I'm saving what I think is the best for last. Um, let's see, I have first a set of three little Santa huggers. So there they are, and he's vintage. They're made in Korea. There's three of them. You see, you press there, and his little arms open up. So you can use them to hug something, or you can use them as an ornament. And there's this little sticker there. You can see that made in Korea. It's kind of hard to, to see. So the first, as I said, I do have three of them here in this lot. I'm asking $9 for these three Santas, and they would be number 34. So $9, number 34, for the three vintage Made in Korea Santa Huggers. Um, the first one, okay, okay. Oh. So the first one on that one is Denise. Denise? And then the Bionic Jellyfish also asks for 33. Okay. So. Oh, great, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Now I have a couple more of the uh, Santa Huggers, but this is only a lot of two. So they're exactly like the other ones, but it's only a lot of two of them. So in this bag, there'll be two of them for $6, number 43. So two of the little Santa Huggers made in Korea, $6, number 43. Okay, we're good. I can slow down. Well, somebody put three, and I wonder if they meant to put 43. Did you mean 43? Lisa. 
Oh, Lisa, did you mean 43? Because she showed up first. Was it the same? I just saw another Lisa type 43. Was it the same Lisa? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so, so Lisa. She's first. Yeah, okay, Lisa, you got the two little Santa huggers there. Thank you. Okay. And then, let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is the last piece that I have to show you. I think this is so cool. And I, I mean, I, when I bought this myself, I did pay up on it. So I'm, I'm tell you, I'm asking a little bit for it, but it's so pretty. It is a 19 piece nativity set. So it's the, is it, it's needle. D knows what this is called from the thrill of the thrill of the thrift. If D, if you're still on this, you can, t is it plastic point? So there is the stable or the, I think they call it a creche. Is that right? There's the back of it. And I'm going to show you all 11 pieces. So we have that. And we have a camel. And you can see that some of the, the uh, thread that they used has a gold, it's like a gold metallic needlepoint. Plastic canvas. Thank you, Dee. Plastic canvas. So we have the camel there. We have a palm tree. And even the palm trees are done in different color greens. So there's one palm tree, two palm trees, and this is uh, the, oh my gosh, what is that called? It's the wire with the fuzzy wire. It's escaping me now, the uh, tree limb. And here we have one of the wise then, and this one too has some of that gold threading on it. Pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner, thank you. Gosh. Uh, let me see, we have a little angel and a donkey with a little tail. Yes, I can't imagine the work that went into this. And a little cow. And they're all standing up. They all have bases on them. They all stand. Uh, let me see. We have a little sheep. And here is another piece here. I think he is holding a sheep himself. Uh, let me see, where are, and I believe these may be the three wise men or shepherds, because two of them are holding canes. So we have these three. And oh, there's another little lamb. And look, look at these, look at the little chickens. They're so cute. And this, I don't necessarily actually know if this goes with it, but it did come with the set, so it's going with this nativity. And so that made me Mary and Joseph. I may have gotten some of the figures mixed up, but with Mary and Joseph, and then we have the baby Jesus in his cradle. And the little baby Jesus does come off. So there you have it. So it's all of those 11 pieces that I just um, showed to you. And I'm asking $25 for it. Um, like it said, it is, it's older. It is a lot of work. There are 19 pieces that go with it. I don't know if you're ever going to see anything like this again. It's the only one I have ever seen. Uh, again, $25 for that, and that's number 35. So I hope that that finds its way to a new home. So $25, number 35 for that nat nativity set. Joanne. Oh, Joanne. Oh, thank you, Joanne. Uh, you're going to love it. It's so, so pretty. And I don't think anyone's going to have anything like it. Uh, that, everybody, is it. Um, I well, we kept it to pretty much about an hour. That's great. <laughs> so, everyone, thank you so, so much for joining me. Thank you for participating. Thank you to my friend Rhonda for keeping track for me again. Um, so, again, if you would just email me at jmosgo at yahoo.com with your full name, your full mailing address, what you have purchased, and your PayPal email address. And I will shoot you out an invoice, and then once that's paid, I'll get your goodies out to you. And again, don't forget, I'm gonna start doing these uh, sales every Monday at 7 p.m. starting on July the 13th. So I hope you can join me for them. 
But that's it, everyone. Again, thank you so much. Thank you for those that just were supporting me and for those of you that purchased. And as always, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye-bye.